In this tutorial, we'll take a look at adding closed captions to narration and videos in Storyline 360. Now, you have a couple ways to go about bringing them in. First, you can bring them in simultaneously whenever you import your audio files and videos, or you can import the captions separately. So, uh, after you've already added narration and videos to your course, you have the choice. It's up to you. We'll take a look at bringing them in simultaneously, and then we'll also take a look at uh, what it looks like to bring them in after you already have uh, your narration or video set up. So I'm working here in Storyline 360, but I want to jump over to Windows Explorer. And here I have my practice files. So I'm going to open up the captions folder and I have the same captions just in a couple different formats here. I'm going to work with the SRT file and I'm just going to copy this. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to move over to my video folder. And the reason I want to do this is that I want the uh, both files to be in the same location, but I also want them to have the same file name. So by having the same file name, Storyline will automatically add the caption file, import the caption file when I import the video. So they both have the same name. Let's jump back over here to Storyline. Let me go to Insert, Video. All right, so we'll go into the video folder and select our video file. Notice how you don't see the caption file in here but it's here and because we have named it the same as our video file, it'll come along with the video when we insert it. So I'm gonna click open and that places the video here on the slide. If I come up here to the options tab, you can see right here under captions, we have the file added. So overview of tabs, there's my SRT file. You can see the extension below it. And then we also have some options for replacing the captions, deleting them or exporting them. But that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and just preview our file, our slide. All right, so the video starts playing. You'll notice that by default, the captions are turned off. If I click the button, the captions are now on, and I can scrub through my video and view the captions. So that's how easy it is to add a closed caption file to your files and storyline. I'm gonna close out of here real quick. Now, the other way you can add captions is to add them after you already have a video inserted. All right, so in this example, we have the same video right but we don't have any captions with it so the video was inserted the captions were not inserted with it and you can see that by coming up here to the options tab and then uh, seeing that the captions are set to none so to add the caption we just click the add captions button and i have my captions in a folder now this time because we're adding the captions separately we don't have to have the same name for the file the same name is only required if you want to bring the videos and the captions in at the same time so i'm going to select the SRT file again, but because Storyline 360 supports multiple file formats, obviously I could select any one of these. Click open. Everything looks pretty much the same, although if you look up here under options, my captions.srt file is set, and you can see that I could either uh, replace it, delete it, or export it. And the same thing, if I want to preview the file, the video starts playing, and once again, uh, the captions don't turn on by default, so click the button, and then we can see the, the caption in there. So because the captions don't turn on by default, that doesn't mean that you can't set it up so that they always do appear uh, when the learner first loads the course. And you can do that by adding a simple trigger. Now, when you add a caption file, so we've already added a caption file up here, right? So we also added one on the other slide. But when you add a caption, you actually, Storyline actually creates a variable called player display captions. Now this variable is not going to be available unless you've already added a caption file. But by default, you can see that it's a true false variable and the default value is false. So what do we need to do? Well, we just need to add a trigger to automatically set that variable to true when the slide or the course first loads. So we can do that by coming into the triggers panel, create a new trigger. We want to adjust a variable and the variable we want to adjust is the player.displayCaptions and we want to set it to equals a value of true, in this case, not when the user clicks, but when the timeline starts and the timeline starts of uh, the slide. So that's how easy it is. Now, once you set this to true, it's gonna be true for all of your slides. So if you wanna set a start screen with an option, maybe an option to give the uh, learner a choice, do you wanna see captions or not? They can toggle a button and, and then use this trigger um, to enable or disable the uh, captions. So if I preview the file right now, there it is. By default, the caption is displaying and you can see the button is automatically selected. So you have some flexibility for how you set up and design 
uh, the way your captions work in Storyline 360.